Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Governor urges continued vigilance as the state begins planning for next phase of vaccinations. Speed of vaccinations depends on the increase in supply, Sununu says. New Hampshire officials are preparing for the next phase of COVID-19 vaccinations while they work to streamline the current phase. Governor Chris Sununu said Wednesday that the vaccine supply needs to keep increasing for the state to transition to Phase 2A, which would start with registration for teachers and child care workers. We won't make any firm decision about how that's going to roll out, Sununu said. We're talking about it now but we won't make anything public for a couple more weeks, a few more weeks. The state is still trying to expedite the first dose appointments for Granite Staters in Phase 1B. Many of them have qualifying medical conditions and are eager to move up. I tell folks to pick up your phone if you have an appointment scheduled in April, Sununu said. Pick up your phone because we're likely calling to move you up. Hospitalizations and fatalities are on a downward trend and Sununu said that if that continues and holds steady at a low enough level, some pandemic restrictions could be eased. We're looking to bring those numbers down and make sure they're sustainable, he said. And by matching that with our vaccine distribution and our most vulnerable population, there's no reason to think those numbers can't be achieved. They can be sustainable, and therefore sometime in the later winter, early spring, we're looking at undoing the restrictions. I've always said Memorial Day is a good marker for us, but hopefully it will be a lot sooner than that. The governor urged those who might be losing hope or growing weary of masks and social distancing to see how far they have come over the past 11 months and not giving up. But he said it's important to maintain vigilance for a while longer. We're not asking folks to hold out until Christmas. No, Sununu said. We're talking about another couple of months, but we have to stay disciplined. This is still a very cold time. If we take the masks off and we don't adhere to the standards we've set for ourselves, we could go very backwards very, very easy. The governor held a call with university system leaders Wednesday to discuss the outbreak on campuses around the state. He said it looks like the cause is behavioral with students holding gatherings and he believes steps being taken will bring the outbreak under control. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.